All right, everybody, it's time again to say cheers to you bitches. You guys ready? We got a new drink. Um, This one is a seasonal drink, right? Yes. Uh, it only comes out, uh, I'm assuming, once a year. Um, it's Oktoberfest, you know, it's that time again. So all the, the fancy beers or the rare beers and all that stuff are popping out all over the place. We went to the store and we found this one. Uh, along with a few other ones, but we decided to do this one today uh, to have some really unusual names that we thought they they stood out and we'd share them with you guys because you see a name that's just strange and, and I don't know about other people, but I got to try it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, anyway, let's show them what we got today. All right. We have the Flying Dutchman. That's right. And uh, this is considered a wit beer coming in from Caledonia. And <clears throat> there's a little bit of history in this where the um, brewer for Heineken went to Edinburgh, the Caledonian brewery, and that's how this was made. So it's based on a Belgium beer. Yep. Sometimes you gotta combine beers to make one good beer. Hopefully this one's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now this one um, isn't that strong actually. Uh, most of the beers out here are about five percent, but uh, this one was four point five, right? Four point five. Yeah. So mm -hmm. not that strong. We'll see. We'll see how it is. I don't know about a, most of you. I got little munchkins that run around my house, so whenever I hear the Flying Dutchman, I always think of SpongeBob and that Flying Dutchman. <laughs> That's what it is on that show around Halloween time. <laughs> so um, we got our giant mug here. Yep, gotta break out the big beer mug whenever we have a beer, no matter how small the beer is. <laughs> oh, this is a really light color. It is. It's like the same color as like a Budweiser or mm -hmm. something. Well, it says it's a wheat beer. Now, that's something we got to show you guys too. They uh, have a. Uh, oh, that's not much. Mm. <laughs> not as much as a giant can we had the last time. No. Um, there is a. <laughs> <laughs> last time the other one came up to here, so there you go. <laughs> they had a. Um, they have. Well, I don't know where it's from but they have a Budweiser we saw billboards for it all over Ireland uh, it's not the American one though mm -mm. we'll have to find that and try it for you guys I don't. I wonder if it tastes like that one I don't know we'll have to see. at first I thought it was the American one but then we later found out that it isn't it's its own brand it's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's one that's only for out here so anyway enough about that let's drink this beer right here alright so this is what it looks like. Oh, so it's a little darker than a Budweiser. Yeah. Look lighter nice with the light going in. Yeah. Golden color to it. Mm, smells. Uh, it smells like those ones we used to get at BJ's or. Yeah, the the, it is a wheat beer. It has a very, very strong wheat taste. Um, it's actually, it's not sweet, mm -mm. but it has a very bold flavor. It does. But it's um, really smooth. It has a little bit like of tart. Yeah, almost like a Heineken, but weedier or more... It's close to a Heineken, but it's a little stronger. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason I got the that uh, it's from the same people who make Heineken, so of course the beers are going to be similar. But if you imagine the taste of a Heineken and then bump it up a notch, you know, add a little bit more kick to it. That that's what this is. Um, it's good. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. It's it's not real strong. It's not overpowering, uh, but it's not. As light as a Heineken. Yes. And I used to like Heinekens a lot. Now I'm kind of growing off of them. They're not. I got too used to the European and you know the German and and English beers. They're real strong, <laughs> <laughs> real strong and heavy beers, you know. And, and uh, Heineken now is like Bud Light to me. I don't like mm -hmm. it. So 
this one I do like though. It, it is like a Heineken, only stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, not so much the percentage wise. I mean, the flavor wise, the flavor is a lot stronger. Yep. I think it's good. Me too. So there you have it. You <laughs> Make sure if you ever come across the Flying Dutchman beer, you pick it up and you can see there Caledonia, Caledonian beer, <laughs> the whip beer. This is good stuff. It's brewed in the Netherlands, but if you happen to come across it in the States, I suggest picking it up, especially if you like Heineken, because it's pretty darn close to mm -hmm. it. So any of you Heineken lovers, look for that one. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. And once again, cheers.